So in this video, I'll be taking you through part one of the Keychain Project series. This is going to be how to create your design on Canva for your monogram keychain. So step number one is you have to go to canva.com, and this is where we're going to design the monogram letters. So after that, we'll click on Login. And it should recognize you as like we have our school account linked to Canva. So you'll click on Continue when you see your school account pop up like this. And then it should log you right into Canva. For some of you, it might give you a preview saying like that there was changes made. Just skip through all that stuff until you get to this part. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we have to go up to the top left and create a new design. Now, for this design, we want to type in this little search bubble, logo, L-O-G-O. And we want to click on the top one right here where it says 500 by 500 PX. After we click on that, this is going to be the proper size for what our monogram is going to be. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to start designing our monogram with the text. So remember, the monogram needs to have a series of letters, specifically your first initial and your last initial. You can do all three, or if you have a hyphenated name, you can do um, four or however many that you have. But we usually try to keep it to two. So first, my initials are TN. So what I'm going to do is go to my text. I want to add a heading. And then I'm just going to type in a T, just like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bump up the size so it's around 80, which is a lot bigger. So right there's my T. And then what I want to do next is I'm going to go and duplicate it, move this out of the way. And for the letter, I'm going to do an N for T and N. That way it's both 80 in size. Now the next thing I want to do and start looking at the fonts that are available. So the font is basically the style that we can use for the text. So if we click on Comic Sans or Canvas Sans, you're going to notice that over here on the left, we have all this uh, font styles that pop up. So we want to go down through and try to find the one that you like. Now, just one fair little warning. Try not to use any of these ones that have like tiny little script letters like this. If the font isn't wide enough, it doesn't really show up that well when we try to 3D print it. So I think for the first one, let me go with, let's go with Brick Sands. All right, now I want to choose something different for the next one. You can do the same or you can make it different. Doesn't really matter what you choose. This is up to you. So for the next one, I'm going to scroll down through and try to find another font that I like. And it's perfectly okay to start scrolling through and try to find one that's different. So after I found the one that I like, now I have to determine, okay, do I want these to be stacked on top of each other like this? Do I want them to be next to each other like that at an angle? Or will they be connected? I think for mine, I think it'd be really cool if I try to connect it some way like this. Now, one thing you might notice is it tries to snap and have everything be connected and lined up. So what we can try to do to make this a little bit easier is if we go down here to the bottom and zoom in, when you zoom in, it makes it a little bit easier to try to line things up. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to show you how to do, which is another great way to customize your project, is how to add a border. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want to. Here's how you can add, no, add a border to it. You go to where it says Elements, click on that. And then we want to look primarily right here where it says shapes. Try not to use any graphics or stickers or photos. We're going to click on see all, scroll down, and you can use anything from these shapes that you see here. Doesn't matter to me. I think for mine, I want to use this shape right here. This looks pretty cool. I'll drag it out and drop it. And then to turn it into a border, we have to click on this little circle for the color, change it so it's no color. And here's how we get the border to show up. We need to click on border style and do a solid line. And we can change the border weight, which is the thickness, make it bigger or smaller, well, thicker or thinner. And then the last thing that I think I want to do is just resize it, probably make it just a little bit bigger. So let me resize it, make it bigger just like this. Now, after I have it resized, I think the last thing I want to do before I consider this part of my project done is I just want to try to get it in the right position or right spot, just like that. Now, after you have this part done, now you're going to enter what I call a teacher check. Raise your hand, let me know, 
That way I can come over and just look over everything just to make sure everything looks good.